partridge, woodcock, and grouse. These birds, if large enough, may be carved same as fowl, otherwise carved in one of the ways described for pigeon, according to the size of the birds and the number of portions required for each. Pheasant. Fix the fork in the center of the breast and carve slices to the bone along the line AB. <coughs> Take off the legs and wing as in carving a fowl. Then separate the slices you have previously cut from the breast. The breast and wings are the most delicate parts. Although the leg is sometimes appreciated, for its high flavor. Roast hare. First cut slices from each side of the backbone in the direction of the lines C to D. These slices are the prime part of the animal. Disengage the leg by cutting around the line marked EF. Take the shoulders off by passing the knife round from G to H. Now divide the back by cutting entirely through the spine at AB. The point of the knife will find a joint where the back may be readily penetrated. It is not, uh, not usual to serve any bone when helping hair. The flesh should be sliced <laughs> sliced from the bony parts. As hair is naturally dry, plenty of gravy should be given with each portion. Stuffing is also served. Stuffing is also served. Rabbit. Remove the shoulders and hind legs, same as described for hair. Place the fork in the middle of the back and cut slices from each side of the loin parallel with the backbone. The loin is the choicest part. Haunch, haunch of venison. As indicated by the cut, this joint resembles a haunch of mutton and is quite as easy to carve. Cut down to the bone from D to C. Cut slices medium thick along the haunch as indicated by the line A to B. Carve rapidly and serve quickly as venison, if chilled, soon loses much of its flavor. Serve each guest with part of the fat and the gravy. Note, leg of venison is carved same as leg of mutton. Saddle of venison, same as saddle of mutton. Loin of venison, same as loin of mutton, lamb or veal. Always carve and serve venison as quickly as possible for reason given <coughs> above. Fish, fish knife. Fish should be carefully helped with a broad silver fish server, which, not being sharp, prevents the flakes from being broken. Mackerel. First remove the head at C, C, and the tail at A, A, and put them aside, then divide the fish down the back by inserting the knife from A to C. If the fish is large enough to give four portions, Divide the halves at B. Salmon. First run the knife down to the bone, along the side of the fish from A to B, and also from C to D. Then help the thick part in thick slices from A to B, and the thin part from E to F. A slice from the thick part should be accompanied by a small piece from the thin part which contains the fat of the fish. Cod's head and shoulder. Run the knife along the center of the side of the fish from D to B. Down to the bone. Then carve in unbroken slices downwards from D to E or upwards from D to C as shown in the diagram. The parts about the backbone and shoulders are most esteemed. The sound which lines the underside of the backbone is considered a delicacy. Some people care for the tongue and palate, 
for which a spoon must be inserted in the mouth. The jelly part is liked by some and may be found about the jaw. Baked fish. Bluefish, shad, small salmon, haddock or bass, etc. When baked in the usual way and placed on the platter on its side, should be cut through to the backbone, but not through it. Cutting such size slices as may be desirable. Slip the knife under and remove the slices from the bone. When the fish is all removed from the top, take away the backbone and divide the lower portion. Turbot. The underside of this fish is the best and should be placed uppermost on the dish. Run the knife from A to B quite through to the bone. Cut regular slices downward from C to E. And upward from C to D. After helping all of that side, Remove the backbone and serve the other side similar to the first. And uh, according to this, it's finished. Note brill soles, place, and flatfish in general may be served same as turbot. Index. And we are at the end of the book. Thank you.